Welcome Pisces. We are going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now. And we'll be using this deck of cards that I do not know the name of um, because I was given them a number of years ago with a um, tarot book and I don't have the book anymore and I don't remember the name of them. So these cards is what we'll be using. Okay, so also the Avalon Magic cards and Wild Child Oracle. Okay, so let's get stuck into it, Pisces. Alrighty, if these messages don't resonate, have a look at your um, other placements of your uh, birth chart. Oh my gosh, my words are so weird right now. Okay, so we want three cards for Pisces, please. Three cards for Pisces. Okay, easy as that. Right, so we've got these three. We've got these pictures on the front here and writing on the back, which I will read to you, but I like to see what I get from the pictures first, which doesn't always correspond with what is on the back. So it's great because you get more messages. And there's this little bunny rabbit here. Interesting because I feel like The bunny rabbit, there's the sense of curiosity about this actually. It's like this decision of which way shall I go? Or what was that? You know, it's like this, yeah, which is interesting and interesting energy. So it says, reconnect to Mother Nature's word, world of plenty and you shall receive a myriad of miracles. Oh, I love that. So grounding yourself, getting out in nature, going for a walk along the beach if you live near a beach. Okay, so tell me more about this card for Pisces, please. Re oh, that was quick. Reconnect to Mother Nature's world of plenty and you shall receive a myriad of miracles. One more card for this card for Pisces, please. There's one card there. One, there it is. Okay, so this first card out is Trove. Okay, so yeah, this is th these are the miracles I feel like this is representing here. It's almost like you're going to receive so many miracles, <laughs> you could eat them. <laughs> the the crow has a um has a gem in its mouth there. But yeah, I feel like it's sort of like opening a treasure chest in a sense. Um, but along the way, there's, there's miracles to be had and to be experienced, right? So this is what I feel like is in store for you here. Um, but these, see, notice how also the crow is out in Mother Nature. And this is where you'll find them. And it may not be, like I'm not talking about like, you know, you'll find a million bucks somewhere. Well, you might. But what I'm talking about is this maybe connection with yourself in a sense. But what that leads to is um, in, in the cleansing of Mother Nature and that connection that is going to lead to, that's, that's going to have this ripple effect into your life. Okay, and I feel like that that's going to make the world a difference for you, Pisces. Okay, so Trove, two cards for Trove, for Pisces, please. And even if you feel like your life is really good right now, there's still miracles that await you, right? Okay, so two cards for Trove, for Pisces. There we go, there they are. One fell out, but I didn't really like how that fell out. Okay, whereas these two jumped out. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, so we've got the Five of Pentacles here. And um, there's been something in your life that you have felt kind of like shut out in the cold here. It's, it's sort of like there's something that didn't work out for you. And um, the thing is, Pisces, that you haven't really explored enough to work out where it is that you belong I feel um, and there's more to be discovered okay because there's this four of wands here as well okay and in this card 
um, this is sort of, this is representing this kingdom here. Um, and so this is actually finding the place that you belong. Yeah. Okay, and we have beehive here. Yes. You see this single bee sitting here? It doesn't take a single bee to make a beehive work. Okay, to um, create a beehive, it takes thousands upon thousands, if not millions, of bees to create this beehive. So it's finding your people here, Pisces, who are going to help you create this beehive, right? So yes, this is this is very important for you to start discovering this, not focusing on this being shut out, feeling like you've been left out in the cold, not focusing on that looking around and saying, okay, so what are my options here? What are my opportunities? Getting out, connecting with nature, and this will um, this will help to clear and cleanse you in order for you to um, get into the right vibration to meet your people. So two cards for Beehive, please. Okay, so we have here, we have the judgment card. Yeah, see, this is all about this rebirth, right? It's about this inner calling within you. Um, and see, the bee isn't going to try and go be a fly. It knows it's a bee. It knows what it needs to do. It knows intuitively what it needs to do. And this is where this cleansing of mother, you know, that mother nature can give you will allow you to tap into the intuition that um, can guide you to lead you to your soul's calling. Because I feel like some of you Pisces aren't um, following that calling. We've got the five of hearts here. Yes, so this is this is really um this is a, this is this internal battle within you, I feel, um, and holding on to things that don't no longer need to be held on to. Okay, there are things that um that need to be healed, okay, so that you can move forward. Um definitely Pisces that um You know, with this judgment card here, I feel like this is this is re releasing yourself from this, okay, and giving yourself permission and doing what it is that you need to do to release yourself from that, okay. So, um, we have the crow here. Look at this. This is reminds me of the um. The Ace of Wands, but the crow's on top of it, which reminds me of this. This is like this thinking. It's sort of like the, the wand can't be lit in with the crow on top of it. So it's it's telling me, Pisces, that if you want to pursue your passion, or if you want something passionate in your life with meaning and depth. It's the crow that needs to go, and the crow represents this squawking, squawking, right? Um, and look at it here. It's got the gem in its mouth, and it can't it, in its mouth, and it can't squawk. And so, yeah, this is. I feel like this is what needs to be worked on here. The, these thoughts, this stinking thinking, that it is not serving you. Okay. It says, cut away dense energy that holds you back from your goals. Trust the process of divine timing. Yes, I love this. And also, if you uh, imagine yourself walking through the forest, right, um, there might be some dense um, bush that you need to cut through. It's the same with the energy here. Okay, and the nature, connecting with nature, going into nature is going to help you do that. Okay, so yeah, this is fantastic. Righty-ho, let's have a look at the next one here for you Pisces. So two cards for this card for Pisces, please. Cut away dense energy that holds you back from your goals. 
Trust in the process of divine timing. Two cards for that. That was too many. That's interesting because this deck has been so well behaved. <laughs> Just throwing two cards out. And now suddenly it's giving me all of them. So we've got Decay. Yeah, Pisces, this is something this is really um oh, getting a couple of messages here. First off, I'm getting, you know, to bury um to go and bury what is no longer um alive. Okay. On the other hand, Pisces, for some of you, I'm getting that you are burying the things that you need to look at. It's kind of like it's just left there, um, hoping it will go away and it won't. And it's like you need to take care of what you need to take care of in order for you to be able to move forward. Because, yeah, it's kind of like transforming this doing what you need to do is going to transform the ending this ending that has taken place um, in your life I feel like for some of you it's not about an ending for some of you it's more about this could be childhood stuff even Anyway, you'll know how it applies for you. But yeah. Um, I also feel like this is also about your dreams and your goals to not let those get put on the back burner and decay. It's kind of like there's, some, there's, there's this passion that needs to be reignited within you. Okay, so... Two cards for Decay for Pisces, please. Two cards for Decay for Pisces. One. Two. So we've got the Princess of Hearts here. This is about you learning um, how to love yourself realistically. Um, we also have the devil here and I actually feel like there are some things in your life that um, this could be the stinking thinking, okay, it could have a hold over you, this could be addictions, this could be something that you are tied to or that you feel like is, um, is just niggling away at you and it's really time to release yourself from that and by doing that, this is how you actually care for yourself this is how you open yourself up to love to love yourself to be loved and give love right um yeah in the inner garden here yes see what is it that you want to sow what what is the garden you want to sow within you you know do you you, you don't want it full of dead carcasses you want it full of flowers that smell beautiful you know, what plant and what, what garden do you want to plant? You know, you could plant fruit trees, you could plant vegetables, you could plant things that serve you and feed you and nurture you. But it's sort of like for some of you, you're choosing to hold on to this, and it's not going to help. It's not punishing anyone other than yourself. Okay. So in a garden for Pisces, two cards for in a garden for Pisces, please. One. Oh, that jumped out. I hope you saw that. I love it when it does that. And I'm so glad it knocked on the box because it didn't go flying onto the floor. Okay, so we've got the lovers here. And the king of swords. Apologies for the lawnmower going on next door. <laughs> I can't help these things. I hope it doesn't annoy you too much. Anyway, Pisces. So the lovers here. See, this is this very well could be a um, Gemini. Okay. Um, 
because this lovers is the Gemini um, but what I want to say about this is I feel like this is about you first and foremost loving yourself your divine feminine and your divine masculine all right um, and you know cutting out those things you see the king of swords he um, he's the king of his kingdom for a reason okay he knows how to get rid of those things that are no longer serving him he knows how to um you know um tie up all the loose ends that don't need to be there anymore he knows how to how to sort of fight the good fight without fighting you know he he can be very reasonable he can also be really nasty too you know, so whatever it is that is going on for you, Pisces, make sure you're doing it with poise and grace, okay? And fairness is what I want to say. Um, you know, make sure you do it from a place of love, not from a place of anger or, um, or from this stinking thinking place, okay? So, yeah. Yeah, don't let this get on top of you as well. Make sure you're looking at the things in your life that do not serve you, that are impacting you in a negative way. And, you know, letting this letting this come in for yourself. You know, be honest with yourself, Pisces. Be honest with yourself. And this is where changes will begin to happen. As soon as you become honest with yourself, you're going to see the truth. You know, and that's all you have to do. You don't have to broadcast it around the world. You know, you just have to admit the truth to yourself. Okay? And if you need some assistance with that, then that's what also you need to do. You know, because at the end of the day, um, it's kind of like, I don't know, I just kind of see this as, it's sort of like you're some for some of you, like kind of like slowly letting yourself slip away and instead of having the love and the care for yourself to step up and go do you know what I matter too and I'm going to do this for me so yeah okay so the next card here Pisces is this card here she's been like yeah see I feel like this is coming out of this you know being hurt crying um i feel like she's been crying but she's finishing that she's letting she's about to let things grow she's about to let growth happen i feel but this says let go of who you think you should be and, and embrace who you are and this is the truth of who you are not not who you think you are or who you're told you are but who you truly are, you know, the truth of you, Pisces. So, yeah, um, two cards for this card for Pisces, please. Let go of who you think you should be and embrace who you are. Maybe this is where it is being honest with yourself is what, what that's about, you know. That card's landed on the floor, so I need to go and pick that up. Okay, so we have Crescent here. Yeah, this is an... I'm just going to chuck these. Oh, no, I need those. Um, I'm, look, this is a new beginning. Okay, um, Pisces, you... It is there for the taking. Okay, and, um, and you know, I, I feel like, though, with this coming under this card about embracing who you are, this is a new beginning of you. It's kind of like, in a sense, you have the opportunity to... to um, it's sort of like this rebirth, right? It's like a rebirth. And, um, yeah, I really feel as though, because when, when something ends, there's always a new beginning. And I just wonder in, if you were still in the throes of, of that new beginning coming into your life. But the fact of the matter is, Pisces, unless you um, do whatever it is that you need to do for you, that new beginning cannot take place okay so two cards for crescent please 
for Pisces. Two cards for Crescent. And you know, Pisces, you have the power to make this new beginning be whatever you want it to be. No, that I feel like there's a um a life that you've dreamed of, and <clears throat> for some reason you don't believe you could have it, but it is it is there for the taking. It's up to you to create it. Interesting. Yeah, we've got the world. See, this is the, you know, you've got the world in your, at your feet. You can do whatever you want. You can create your own world here. Okay, we've got the Six of Pentacles as well. The Six of Pentacles is, you know, saying there's enough for everyone, right, to, it's really interesting because the Four of Pentacles is jumping into my mind, which is interesting, which is all about holding back and, um, so I feel like this, yeah, okay, so this is about you not holding back on giving what needs to be gived, gived, given. <laughs> um, and, you know, this is sort of like you giving yourself to the world, okay? Um, because this is a new beginning of your world and there might be a couple of things that need to be sorted in order for this to take place <clears throat> but you know it's a it's about these seeds that need to be planted is what is important here um and once you have taken care of this you are off okay and it's up to you hey what you want that to look like not what everyone else is doing not e everyone says you should do but what you want that to look like. Because this inner garden here, do you want this inner garden or do you want an inner garden full of weeds? Right? And maybe it's the case, Pisces, that that inner garden of weeds has existed before. So maybe it's time to pull the weeds and plant something new. Because if something hasn't worked, and you're trying to do the same thing, expecting different results, then you're fighting a losing battle, okay? So we've got slumber, yep. This is taking the time to rest and rejuvenate, to nurture yourself, allow yourself to be nurtured, get the help that you need, okay? So slumber, two cards for slumber, for Pisces, please. <laughs> that lawnmower though. I'm sure he's done that strip like a hundred times. <laughs> Feels like it. Okay. Okay, so we've got two cards here. We've got the Princess of Swords here. Yep. The Princess of Swords. This is um, <laughs> you learning about yourself, learning a, a tr new truth about who you are, bringing that truth forward and saying, hey, this is it, you know? This is... You know, this is my new beginning. This is what I want it to look like. And anyone who's not on board with that and not okay with that, stuff you. You know, you don't have to live up to any um, anybody else's expectations in the sense of you should do this and you should do that, okay? Because once these loose ends are tied up here, you're free. You need to cut yourself free, okay, from the things that are not serving you. All right, which are these things here, focusing on the things that haven't worked out. Pisces, you need to tie up the loose ends of those so that you can move forward and create what it is that you want to create. Okay, because it is absolutely there and it's, it's sort of this feeling of being frozen. It's like frozen in between these two worlds of this thing here that you, you, um, that didn't work out, right? Um, which may have even been a marriage for some of you that may not have worked out, okay? Um, and, and yeah, it's like you're frozen in the middle of the new world happening. So it's like the old world is over here, the new world is here, and there's a bridge connecting the two, 
and it's sort of like you're frozen on the bridge and so it's time to walk off the bridge you know do what you need to do on the bridge okay because there is stuff that just needs to be sorted because otherwise this wouldn't be here this would be buried okay so whatever that is Pisces the healing that you need to do um, you know freeing yourself from anything that holding you down addictions anything like that that is not serving you um, then yeah it's time to do that so that you can go forth into what is waiting for you because you are worth it and you deserve it okay Pisces I'm gonna leave that with you take care of your beautiful selves see you bye bye